हेलो हेलो माय नेम इज अनिरुद्ध एंड आई वेलकम यू टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल इन टुडे स्केच लेट्स स्टार्ट बाय टेकिंग अ क्विक लुक एट द लाइन वर्क फर्स्ट सो आई फर्स्ट स्टार्टेड द स्केच पुटिंग डाउन सम वेरी लाइट पेंसिल लाइंस टू मार्क द होराइजन एंड फाइंड द वैनिशिंग पॉइंट this gave me somewhat of a rough grid to work with after that i moved to my sailor food and nib fountain pen i first put down some dots and then connected those dots by putting down longer lines i almost never use my food and pen for the initial line work this may be the first time i'm doing so i felt a genuine sense of discomfort when i was putting these lines down i am yet not exactly sure of uh, the best way to use this pen for sketching especially at this uh, initial stage but i am forcing myself to do so this time around it said that uh, discomfort is the fastest way to growth let's put that theory to the test shall we my next video is probably going to be a deeper dive into how i use this uh, sailor food and nib pen if you're looking forward to seeing that please do leave a comment below the reference image is just a starting point for me as you can see my sketch isn't an exact replication of the reference getting that glowing evening light correct is absolutely crucial for uh, setting the atmosphere in the scene the sun appears to have just now set which means that the light at the horizon will be brighter and warmer as we move away and above the horizon the light will slowly get cooler and darker so at the horizon i have used a yellowy orange color and as i move away i transition to blue and make sure there's a little bit of purple in between so that the yellow and blue don't mix to form a green on the street i repeat the same transition as the sky is uh, reflecting onto the street the red gold color on that uh, large tower is what grabs your attention first in this scene i want that color to be bright and i also want it to not have a hard edge i want it to spread out into the sky so i'm putting it in while the background is still wet Next I'm also blocking in some of the lighter colored buildings in the scene. For this I am using some opaque paint which is also something I don't do very often. In hindsight using opaque paint after laying down the pen lines at the beginning of a sketch isn't the smartest choice. because there is a possibility that the opaque paint will cover up the fountain pen lines
using that warm yellow i'm trying to indicate some uh, indoor lighting in that uh, foreground shop front the light values are done we can now move on to some of the middle values as i begin to paint that tower i also wanted to share why i chose to paint this particular scene the scene is from the city of aarhus in uh, denmark and i actually lived in this city for um i think it was 6 or 7 months i was working there as a industrial design apprentice this is the aarhus city center it was about 100 200 meters away from the studio i was working at so i passed this spot fairly regularly back then i always wondered to myself why all the rooftops of these old buildings in northern europe had that uh, peculiar turquoise color i know now it is because uh, there is a fair amount of copper content in those roofs and as they get oxidized they turn turquoise my paper is still a little damp which is good because as i put the paint down it will not give me a very sharp edge i'm going to use that quality to put in um, put in objects at in the distance i want them to be a little fuzzy to create a sense of depth and perspective I have now let my paper dry a little further and will be working on uh, the middle and darker values in the foreground of the scene. I am intentionally using some unusual brushes. first this uh, number 2 goat hair mop brush which has a lot of flair but not a lot of control i'll also soon use a 3/4 inch synthetic flat brush for uh, laying down a gradient on the ground I'm not really worried about painting over my figures as I know that uh, they will be significantly darker as I proceed with my process. I'm now starting to add some of the darker values. Starting with the ones further away from me. While the paint is still wet, I darkened the foreground part of the street to enhance the sense of perspective. It may look a tad too dark right now, but as it dries, it will get a little lighter. I absolutely love dropping in dark paint like that to create reflections. I 
I'll now begin to work on some of the darks in the foreground. My intention here is to create a bit of separation from the mid tones and add a sense of structure. As I had mentioned earlier, I have used opaque paint for his trouser and that ended up covering some of the ink pen lines. Oops. We are now at the final stages of the sketch. If you have made it so far into this video and have enjoyed following along my process, May I ask you to consider giving this a video a like, maybe subscribing to my channel and uh, even sharing it with some of your friends who you think might find this useful. I have now posted 30 videos onto this channel. In the coming months, I plan to post a video at least once every two weeks. I'm using a white glass cutter's pencil to put in some of the highlights. Following which, I will use my uh, Sailor Food A pen again to put in some thicker lines where I think they are needed. For having put in a little over one hour of sketching work, I am quite happy with the result I have managed to achieve. So, I thank you for joining me in another one of these quick urban sketching demonstrations. If you have any thoughts or questions about my process, leave me a comment down below and I will surely make the time to answer you. I wish you a lovely rest of your day wherever you are and look forward to seeing you in the next video.